Hello, 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 hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the support. It's highly appreciated, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start with the Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs has rejected an overseas offer, you know, for a rising star. Imagine, Kaiser Chiefs got an offer from, you know, a team from overseas and they just decided to just, you know, decline it. You know, they don't want to even negotiate anything about it. Um, yeah, they rejected an offer, you know, from Maccabi Haifa, you know, uh, Maccabi Haifa, which is a club from overseas, they want to sign Owen Silitoba or at least get him to be loaned to that team. However, I am a cozy, I am Allah. You know, I'm a course I allow for me. I have a phone number based on this little And perhaps this is associated with the fact that, um, you know, or rumors, oh, which when this little is going to be Kaiser Chief striker, which I also believe. Obviously, they played him against the Royal AM. They wanted to see something, you know. Kaiser Chiefs number two, they don't have enough strikers. You know, I can't keep, uh, you know, emphasizing this. You can't depend on being a man alone. You need to have, you know, depth in that team. So, Kaiser Chiefs has rejected, you know, the offer from this team because they want to keep him. And this is what happened with Ntuzi Shabalala. Ntuzi Shabalala, if you remember, you know, he also got an offer from overseas and Kaiser Chiefs said no, you know. And then after that, they gave him a contract, right? And now he plays, you know, both sides, really. Sometimes we left him, sometimes he is able to play for, you know, the senior team. So uh, I'm sensing that this is the same uh, situation that is going to happen now. When the Silla Duba, uh, you know, the Aroma Suguti Kaiser Chiefs is busy, you know, formulating a contract for him. So I hope that is true. And yeah, man, he deserves to play for Amakos, you know, doesn't matter the age, you know, doesn't matter that he's 19, really, you know, he's a good player, you know, uh, he's, he's shown us in a DSTV Disky Challenge a lot of times, so he deserves to be here, you know, so yeah, let's hope with Kesa Chiefs will give him the, the contract, especially now, because they can see what he's attracted overseas interest, which shows what he is in demand, which shows that there's something special about him, right, so yeah, guys, uh, let's hope, because okay, they offer Ibuya Israel, you know, Guela Pani Makabi Haifa, but the Chiefs iPhone, so yeah, Kesa uh, Chiefs, Make sure that you, 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 you formulate that contract for the boy. You know, he has potential. He's proved it in the DSTV Disky Challenge, you know. And even now, they just need to be patient with him, you know. He won't come in and do, you know, and just be that perfect. You know, he's st still starting. Just like in the Real AM game, you know. There were the crosses, man, that Bibawa uh, Faga, Abo, Dove, you know, and Frostler, most of the time they were too high for him, you know, they need to try and accommodate him, uh, stop always, man, farm across, you know, sometimes it's not Bimini Mana who's going to head, this boy needs you to play the ball to his legs, and he will play, so that's what Kesa just needs to do in this situation, he's a good player, make sure that you sign the boy. Ah, perhaps let's also, you know, commend uh, greatness, you know, with our South African coaches, guys, it's always good to see, you know, Coach Balai Mzanzi going out of the country and doing well. We see, we can see with Penny Makati, we can see with uh, Stephen Binar in Amsterdam, even in La Pena, Davis, you know, Davis, he, he left Pirates, right, uh, his contract, I don't know what happened, if Pirates terminated his contract or it just ended really. But uh, Joseph Zimbabwe called him, you know. Joseph Zimbabwe was so much linked with U U U Davis, you know. U Fatlu Davis to a point where Fatlu ended up going to Moscow, you know. They're now in the same league and they're now working together again, you know. And today, you know, he made his first appearance for the team, which is Locomotive Moscow FC. And they were able to win by five goals to nil. They were playing a Russian Cup and they won five nil. So it's very nice, man. It's his first game, the Pan of Atlu. And I also Joseph, we know they've worked together, goal and the Pirates, you know. At least they were able to win M10-8, you know. So it shows which there's something that Joseph Zimbabwe saw in this South African coach that made him to, to, to call him from that side and want to be with him again. So we congratulate them and wish you good to Basu and Zahashi. Konale in Moscow, you know, represent us well. 
do well in that team you know as i can see this team has actually been struggling you know like i said they played 10 games you know in their league and they, they they have nine points if i'm not mistaken they're not even in the top 10 you know so it's, it's a problem so hopefully the introduction of fatlu working hand in hand with joseph zimbao jz will help them to do well you know let's move to anapiana amapagania as we know they're playing against masandawana saturday very very you know uh, you know game that i'm looking forward to watching we want to see you know especially with the new introduction of these amazing players we want to see but uh i wasn't sure if we were going to see rasmus ready on that game but the coach has given us a hint right uh given us a hint and the coach said that uh, he's found an experienced player in Kemit Erasmus you know he's smart he's professional you know because he's in good fitness levels which tell, which tells him that he was taking care of himself you know and he says that Erasmus is a ready plug and play player you know really you just plug and play him you know so that is what uh, the coach said you know about in Lapayana Kemit Erasmus, you know, he can see that uh, he's an interesting player for sure. So, yeah, well, he says Uti, they did need someone like this, especially now because they are going to be playing a lot of games in October. Pirates, you know, they'll be playing games like three days in between, four days in between. They play, they play. So, they do need depth. That's what they, you know, they do need. And he did say Uti, he's just had a few sessions in training. So, you know, we shouldn't put pressure too much. We should be patient with him but definitely you know he did he did show him to Uti. possibly we might see Kemich Rasmus in that game possibly starting or being a substitute I don't know even in John Joe, you know those players are quality you know it's not a player that really is and you don't have that time to put these players on the bench you need to start competing right now you know as you can see Uti, it looks like Sundowns is starting to try and open a gap again so they do need to fight MTN8 league all competition so possibly Kemit Rasmus might feature in the game against John Lapena in Mamelo Uti Sundowns so guys you all can tell me what you think about this you know do you think they should start Kemit do you think they should start Ntongo how do you think they should uh, formulate their lineup because there's been a lot of debates regarding Kemit Rasmus playing at the same time or simultaneously with U- Ulipasa because many people are saying that they're more like playing similar which I don't think is true but they're playing the same position do you think Pirates will now approach their games with two strikers you know I, I don't know you know open for for debate we will see really what the coach is going to do regarding this Will he introduce Lipasa first and then put Erasmus after? Will he play them together? Or will Lipasa be moved to, you know, like a right winger? As we saw what he did against Errol AM, you know. When he cut through the right hand side and hit the Ibali and then uh, Marco finished the ball, we can see that Lipasa. I can say that he can be, you know, he, he can play different positions, you know, in that front you know three he can play left striker and right i think he can do it so maybe they'll play them together open for debate and other than that thank you so much for watching the video please like comment subscribe and have a great day ladies and gentlemen